everybody welcome to getting ready for third grade math like a boss I'm Miss McCarthy I don't know if you're coming from your classroom or maybe from your house that was a mixture of home and house maybe from your mobile device in your car I don't know but I'm glad that you're here because you are here to get ready for third grade math and be a boss at it so if you're an incoming second grader or a current third grader this is for you. I'm going to teach you the basics of what you need to know. That way, when you go in to your third grade class, you are a pro. And um, this, these videos come with a complete workbook. It's an eight-week course just for you. So we're on week five here, and there's a workbook that goes along with it. And you can access that by clicking the link below. I'll also show you how to access it at the end of this video. So without further ado... Let me teach ya. Boss notes. Here we go. We're on multiplication part one. Today I'm teaching you how multiplication is groups of things. So in your boss notes for your guide, go ahead and record this down. That the factor times a factor equals the product. Factor times factor equals the product, okay? Another way to represent multiplication would be the number of groups times the things in each group equals the total and the total is also known as the product. So if you are ever trying to find the product, you are finding the total to a multiplication problem. Let's get busy and let me show you. Learn it section, let's go. Okay, so here we are at the learn it section. We're on number one where I teach you how to multiply and what it is. Now before we start, I really do want you to become very quick and fluent with your multiplication facts. But in order for you to become quick and fluent, you need to know what's going on. So here's what I show you what's happening with multiplication, okay? So it says to find the product and model it with groups of things. Model, yes, with groups of things. So our first factor, this is the factor, factor times factor equals the product. That's right from our boss notes. This first number is also the number of groups and the three would be the things in each or tie as I like to call it. So we're going to do two groups, two groups with three things in each. One, two, three, one, two, three. Now our total is one, two, three, four, five, six, six. So our product or our answer or our total is six. All right, number two, number two. So we know from our notes, factor times factor equals the product or number of groups times things in each equals the total or which is also known as the product. So we have our first factor is one. So we have one group. There's one group. Inside of this group, there are five things in each because five is our second factor. One, two, three, four, five. How many things in all? Five. Five tally marks. So that is our answer. This is also, I want you to write this down. This is also known as the identity property of multiplication because anytime that you are multiplying, that fact, boo, let me try again. Anytime that one is a factor, it has the identity property because when you multiply one by any number, any other factor, the product is always going to be the other factor. So one times five is five. One times two would be two. 
1 times 0 would be 0. 1 times 1 million would be 1 million. 1 times Miss McCarthy would be Miss McCarthy. Identity property. All right, so this is the point where you practice it. I think I have three problems for you. Number three, number four, number five. Go ahead and look in your workbook. Complete those. Pause the tape. Come back. Check your work. See if you're right. See you in a second. Pausing now. All right, so let's see if you got them right. The first one, number three, says four times four equals what? Well, we know that we have factor times factor equals the product. Very good. And we also know that the first factor represents our number of groups and our second factor represents our tie. What does tie stand for again? That's right, things in each which equals our total or our product. So how many groups do I need to draw? Right, I need to draw four groups. So I'm gonna draw four circles, one, two, three, four, and how many tally marks go into each group? That's right, four tally marks. Four things in each. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four, eight, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Sixteen is our total. Here is number four. Okay? Factor times factor equals the product number of groups times things in each equals the product. I actually have a song all about multiplication if you click here. It's teaching you how to multiply in a song written to Uptown Funk. So give it a shot. It's right here. Okay? Um, pretty soon, you'll see in the link below, I will have a song to help you be faster with your multiples, which will help you be faster at multiplying. So check that out in the future. But back to this. How many groups do I have? Right, I have six groups, so you should have drawn six circles. I'm gonna draw them like this to give me enough room. Okay, this one's kinda hard to see over here, there. How many things in each? Fives, one, two, three, four, five. Make sure that you're slanting that last one, five. It'll help you with counting faster. Two, three, four, five. One, 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 two, three, four, five. And now we just count by fives. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Did you get a product of thirty? Is that the answer that you got? If so, go ahead and like this video. That way I know that you got the answer thirty. Okay? Let's move on to number five. Last one, y'all. All right, and you may have gotten a little bit tripped up on this one by this dreaded zero right here, okay? Three times zero equals, well, let's put our factor times factor equals the, right, the product, which is also known as the t -t -t total, right? Number of groups times things in each equals the product or the total. Good. So how many groups do I have? Three. One, two, three. And how many tally marks do I put into each group? Zero. Dun, dun, dun. Nothing. I put nothing in there. So how many tally marks do I have if I put absolutely no tally marks in the circles? I have zero. Okay. This is another property here. So we talked about the identity property today which was when you have a factor of one. I also want you to write this down. This is the zero property of multiplication. I'm telling you, if you guys know these properties going into third grade, the multiplication, ran out of room. If you know these properties going into third grade, you are gonna be such a boss because that's what it's all about. If you know these, you are gonna be ahead of the game. So the zero property of multiplication states that when you have a factor of zero, your product is automatically gonna be zero. 
So keep that in mind. Whenever you see multiplication of zero, just put a zero there. If it's 100 billion times zero, the answer is going to be zero. If it's Miss McCarthy times zero, the answer is going to be zero. If it's light bulb times zero, it's going to be zero. And if you flop it around, that's the commutative property of multiplication. Zero times three would still be zero because you have a factor of zero. That's what I'm talking about. Boom. All right, everybody. So today's B message is to be generous like a boss. So what does being generous mean? It means to give up your time and your resources in order to help somebody else. So in class, for instance, you could lend somebody a pencil if you happen to have an extra one. You could let somebody have a few sheets of paper if they don't have any. You could be generous with your stuff, and you could also be generous with your time. Maybe at home you have younger siblings or you have next-door neighbors who have, who have kids that you could watch. Maybe you could watch them and allow the adults to have some time to get stuff done that they need to get done and be generous with your time in that way. So whatever it is, when you are generous, it actually, even though you're helping somebody else, it makes you feel really good inside too. So make sure that you do that and go ahead and comment in the comment sections to let me know what you are doing out in your world to be generous. Get ready. Get ready.